On Utah's Capitol Hill, a bill now moving forward to make period products more available, also accessible in Utah schools. But lawmakers may not touch a big part of this issue. It's the tax on hygiene products. Fox 13's Ben Winslow explains why. Girls are worth it, period. On Capitol Hill, a couple hundred rallied last week in support of a bill that puts period products in every Utah school. I am honored to sponsor this legislation. Representative Carrie Ann Lisenby is running the bill with support from Republican leadership. We need to do something and we need to do it now. When young girls do not have access to period products, they miss school. They can suffer health risks. They may have lower confidence, feel shame, embarrassment, and sometimes they even withdraw from critical programs that hamper their future success. But there's one issue lawmakers so far are not touching. In 2019, we, we fought for ending the what we call the tampon tax, which was the sales tax on period products. A repeal of the tampon tax was actually included in a massive tax reform bill the legislature passed in 2019, but it only lasted a few months. That's when opponents of the overall tax bill successfully pushed a citizen referendum. The legislature repealed the bill and the tampon tax was restored. I think the legislature felt a little burned from having the public outcry over the big tax reform. And so I think what happened there is um, there was a hesitancy to touch the tax code at all after that. For supporters of repealing the tampon tax, it's forced them to rethink their strategy. We kind of like took a step back and said, what are we doing here? What would have a bigger impact? And at this time, like, we'll get back to the sales tax. You can mark my words. But, um, but for now, the thing with a greater impact would be getting those period products in schools. It remains to be seen if a repeal of the tampon tax will return in the next legislative session. The last sponsor of a tax repeal told Fox 13 he'll back Representative Lisenby's legislation instead. But supporters are not giving up. We have men's items that are not taxed. You know, we have Rogaine, we have Viagra. They're not, they don't incur a sales tax in our state. We've just excluded period products. So although I know we like to be careful and I think it's wise to be careful with our tax code, this is just something that it's like it, it's off balance. On the Hill, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.